Traders, non-traders, welcome back to another episode of Scotty's Trading. All right, so I've just got the USD yet. This was the last thing I had to look at. And, you know, Monday, really, I mean, what I found is with trading, Friday and Monday for, you know, the four-hour, even the hourly systems, it's a lot less stress and ordeal just to avoid that entirely. So you watch on Monday a little bit. I mean, you can have a big sleep in. You know, I had a little bit of sleep and went to the gym, had a run. You know, it's my five days off this week. I work quite a lot for three weeks and then the fourth week I have Monday to Friday off. I've got that um, with my employer, which is good and, you know, lets me focus on the charts. And really what I do do is a lot of back testing. I do a lot of that, refining, uh, networking, contacting other people, you know, see what's going on. And a lot of that is uh, refining my strategies. So, uh, you know, because Monday is, is a very flat session. As you know, you could place a trade. It's just going to do nothing. It's going to use your capital. You want to wait for the market to sort of show its hand a little bit. You know, like some people say trading is gambling. And, you know, it very well is if you don't really have a plan and you don't play the probabilities. So that's that's what I sort of look at from that perspective. Now, USCN, there's no real clear direction here. We'll go to the four hourly. Yeah, so... Look, it's interesting. There's um there's an announcement coming out soon. You know, you just wait for the price action to present that. And currently, there's nothing there. So let's have a look at. I always like to see what the Aussie dollar is doing. It's particularly uneventful as well. That's sideways. You take a snapshot of that right there. This. I mean, this is sideways price action. <clears throat> now, you know, if you will go down to a 15 minute time frame, you, you, you know, there's money to be made there. Well, even the 15 minutes challenging. See, that's challenging. I don't know if you'd buy the, you know, bounce there. It's just, you know, when I was taught trading via, you know, Walter Peters and whatnot, he always said, start with the daily. You don't want to jump in lower time frames because, you know, for the most part, you might have an outlier. You might have an individual who was just exceptionally talented from the get-go and that can trade the lower time frames, but... There's a few concerns. Number one, things move quickly. So if you make mistakes, they're magnified. If you're risking 2% on a five-minute candle, in five minutes, it could be all done. And you're like, wow. And you're like, and it could be a wick. Because you, 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 when you're a new trader, you're not really aware of the market makers and manipulation that's available. And, you know, there's a lot of shenanigans that go on, you know, and stop hunts and, you know, which is, that's just the, the name of the game. But if you're a daily chart, you place in, you know, an entry on a daily candle and the stop at the bottom of daily, it's a lot harder to, you know, hit the stop unnecessarily unless the market has reversed. And you've got to be aware, you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong. you got to step back and say, that's fine, and you move on. So, look, the Aussie dollar, there's no real, uh, <clears throat> real clear direction here. You can see, I think I sold that there. That was a loss as well. And I think I tried to sell it again. And there might have been another loss there as well. So I think it was a break even. The last time I traded the Aussie dollar, it was uh, a break even trade, I believe. Because I've got it there, but I might have moved the stop to break even. So I'm not too sure why I put that there, but that's everything is everything. Every trade that I do is is filmed in regards to when when it's running and things like that. So if you want to go back and see how I do do my trading. You know, I would say I'm still very much a novice trader, so this is a quick disclaimer. Now, the Euro US dollar, you know, not particularly eventful. I just like filming this to keep me accountable. It's good that I, you know, you want to have a look and see, you know, what's going on. Has there been a big move? You always want to look just in case, you know, if there was, was, was a big move there. Because uh, it, you know, there's been sell-off, but... I mean, let's go to a daily and it's, you know, yeah, like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's tough to trade that. Really, it's making higher heights, you know, if we get a, uh, a trend line out here. It's making higher highs. So, you know, if I was out to pick one, is it neutral, is it bearish, is it bullish? Uh, well, it's not really bearish, really. It's sort of more, but there's, it's not enough there for me to say it's bullish. It's just sort of, 
it's sideways and pretty neutral when it comes to the direction. All right, so let's go to the pound now. <sighs> Look, the pound's sort of similar. You know, it's not great. And we've got support down here, so... <clears throat> The hourly, so this is a typical Monday Asian session sort of range here. It's pretty uneventful, so particularly uneventful. All right, let's have the USD CAD. Much the same. So I mean, if nothing's jumping out, you you just disregard it until something presents itself. You know, if it um. Fold some more. This could be a potential sell trade here, maybe. But you know, right now, no. There's nothing there. <clears throat> okay. Oz Cad had a bit of a bounce. Now we'll see if uh, you know, we'll see if the rally continues, or you know, that's an interesting candle there. How it sort of you really pushed pretty strong, but. You know, normally what happens on Monday is the opposite of what happens to the rest of the week. So you see a minor little retracement here and a fade away, and we could just see a pop up higher. So that's something I'll be looking for potentially. USD Swiss. You know, it's a bit of a mixed bag with the US dollar. Is it stronger? Is it weaker? Early days. You know, it's still Monday, so there's not a lot really we can take away from this price action here. So that's it, guys. That's the wrap so far. Uh, AusCAD potential buy trade, maybe. And you know what? That's sort of it. And maybe Euro US dollar long if we can see a bounce off here potentially. But that's that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, another update to come tonight. Bye for now.